Hey, what's going on guys? This is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be finding out how stable is the Salty PDL. By far, my most requested video since I got the kayak is how stable is it? So today, we're gonna get out on the lake, figure out its tip point, we're gonna flip it, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna see if I can flip the bow back over by myself, get back into it, no help at all, and I'm gonna be your guinea pig to figure out how stable is the Old Town Sportsman Salty PDL. Let's get to it. Still that. All right, guys, we got Joshy Poo. He's gonna take the salty PDL out for the first time. Just give you his first impression. Of course, this video is all about the stability. So he's gonna be primarily talking about how stable he thinks it is compared to his autopilot and his top water PDL. He has a lot of experience in kayaks. He's owned three of them. Yep. This is my first time on a salty PDL. And first thing I'm gonna say is it's super fast a lot faster than the 120 PDL and it could definitely go faster than the autopilot obviously can you sustain that speed I don't know but I did notice right off the bat if you're going four or five miles an hour and you slam that rudder left or right you could potentially tip I don't know what the tipping point is for the kayak and that's what we're out here to find out. Chris is gonna be displaying that for you here in just a moment. But I could tell you that it's not as stable as the 120, but where you sacrifice stability, you get speed. She just trekked right along. I'm going into the wind, into the waves to turn here. So as you can see the boat, whoa, as you, as you start to do a sharp turn, it will start to lean and it'll make you nervous. All right guys, you know the drill. Pop the PDL drive in, lock her down. Well, we might need to put our rudder in. All right, so first things first, one of the biggest concerns that I have about the Salty PDL is when I'm moving full speed ahead and I jam the rudder down to the, you know, all the way turning left or right, the boat tips and you feel like you're about to flip over. And I haven't pushed it to the limits. I've actually, you know, once I first felt that, I of course completely stopped because I did not want to flip. But today, hey, who cares? We're gonna flip. So let's go ahead, try and get the kayak going as fast as we possibly can, jam the rudder to the left and right, see if we can get it to flip. All right, guys, ready? Here we go. Going straight ahead. I'm gonna jam the rudder down. No, we don't tip on that one. As you guys could probably tell, the kayak leans super hard when I do that. But when I first experienced it, it was a freaky feeling because I'm so used to the top water and the stability of it that uh, whenever I, I, I leaned really hard, I thought I was gonna roll over. But once you kind of get on that gunnel with this design, with that V, the V haul, and you get all the weight on the side gunnel there, it seems to kind of, you know, hold its ground and, you know, fight back so you don't tip. But it's a freaky feeling when you're used to the stability. Let's see if we can go a little faster. Here we go. It's all the way down. We're leaning. We're leaning. Nope. No tip. So what that tells me is I can have a little bit of confidence in this boat with the rocking. You know, you, you kind of got to get used to the rocking. I think it is just with that V haul, <clears throat> you know, you're going to get more rock. Whereas the top water and a lot of the other old town kayaks have that double U haul for the more stability. But where this thing lacks in stability, it is super fast compared to all the other boats. It's actually the fastest boat in the old town line. All right, so let's go ahead and do our stand up 
leaning and rock test. So as you can see, we're standing up on the deck here. Got plenty of room to work with. But when you push on one side, you can see the boat really start to lean there. You see the water actually dumping in. And I'm not gonna lie, once that Old Town logo starts to get halfway submerged in the water, you feel like you could potentially tip. All right, so here's another angle, guys, of the standing lean test. And as you can see, I can almost get water above the gunnel. So if you were gonna tip over, if you did have all your weight on one side, you could recover quickly, it seems like. It's a little more stable than I, I thought, like when you put all the weight on there. When you get all your weight on that one side, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you about went in right there. Yeah. That's a sucky feeling, ain't it? That one gets my heart going right there. I know I gotta get in the water at some point during this video, but let's be honest, nobody wants to tip their kayak over and get soaking wet. We all wanna see the tip, 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 tip. Oh, Put all your weight on one side, or how about you hang your feet over on one side of the boat in the water? Ooh. <laughs> it's inevitable, I'm going in. If you put all your weight on one side, it'll, it will flip if you don't catch it quickly. So let's go ahead and sit on the side and see if the kayak can even handle that. <laughs> Does it look like it's gonna tip? Oh man, only if you knew. The other <laughs> side of the boat looks like it's completely out of the water. <laughs> Guys, I'm sitting on the side right now and I'm not gonna lie, if I were to just kind of like put pressure on my chest, it, I mean, I could easily roll over right now if I just, you know, fell forward a little bit. And you know, compared it to the 120, you could do that on the 120 and it, you wouldn't feel anything. The top water? Yeah. Yeah. Nonetheless though, as you can see, it seems like I'm recovering pretty easy each time that I think I'm gonna flip. So that's a positive sign. It shows that if you do put all your weight on one side and you're about to flip, you can recover very quickly as well because the boat is so light. Once you shift your weight over, it's gonna allocate right away. I guess it's time. Josh is looking at me like it's time. So what we're gonna do as we're gonna tip this sucker a couple different ways. First of all, standing up, uh, sitting down, and then really I, I'm interested to see how easy it is getting back in the kayak. First of all, flipping it back over by myself and then getting back into it uh, with nobody's help. Because if you're out there on the water and you tip, number one, you got all your gear with you. So you're probably gonna be worried about that and recovering it, but you gotta get back in your boat. <laughs> Guys, Josh just wants to see me dip over. <laughs> That's all he's out here for. So the first flip test, uh, you know, that we're probably gonna end up flipping, Josh has come up with the idea that I probably want to test if you're going really fast and then you do slam your rudder down to the one side and I put all my weight on that side, will the boat actually, uh, you know, give and tip over? Let's find out. But well, yep, I knew that was coming. <laughs> It'll go. <laughs> it goes over pretty quick, guys. I'm pretty quick. Lie. Hey, but let's see. Can we flip it back over by ourselves and get back in it pretty easily? It flipped over a little faster than I, I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if you can get back up on that, baby. All right, so picture this, guys. You're out on the water by yourself. You flip over. What are you gonna do? Now, I'm no kayak master. So I don't really know how to do this properly. So if you didn't have any leverage, I'm not standing on anything right now. <laughs> I don't know if I could do this with any guy. <laughs> if I flip over 
in the ocean, this is what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! Oh my god. All right, so this would be an easy way to flip it back over because it is so light. <laughs> so my first consensus is, if I'm gonna tip this baby back over, probably best to just get on it and lean, lean it over and flip it again. Let's see if we can get back in it. There you go, perfect. That's pretty much how you wanna re-enter. That's a plus. When you put all your weight on the one side, the kayak really does lean towards you so you can re-enter the boat pretty quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of rock test. You're out there on the water, you lean to one side too much, and then you compensate by going the other way. How much will it take to tip it? And it won't take too much, I promise you that. All right, so the easiest way to tip over the PDL kayaks from what uh, we just figured out a second ago is you wanna take, take your hand, just grab your drive and put all your weight on it. This kayak will flip right over and you can get back on it. Hey guys, so my most requested video, flipping the salty PDL, seeing how stable it was. I was the guinea pig for you, so you better smash that thumbs up button, help a brother out. I flipped it 15 times or more for you. So what we learn about the salty PDL? It is not nearly as stable as the other kayaks in the Old Town Sportsman line, but we already knew that. They advertised that. This boat is made for speed and agility, and that's what it is. There's one thing that I'm leaving this video or making this video with, and that's more confidence in the kayak, believe it or not. I know that sounds crazy, but now I know where the tip point is. I know how much I can, how much weight I can uh, allocate to one side. So I am leaving with some more confidence in the boat. So don't let that, don't let the stability deter you away from buying the Salty PDL. It still is the most affordable sportsman kayak in the Old Town line. Hey. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Helps a brother out. Comment down below, would you pick stability or would you pick speed? The Salty PDL is all about speed. I wanna know, leave a comment down below. You made it this far, why not hit that subscribe button? Hit that little bell notification so you get all my notifications on the Salty PDL. All right guys, peace.